Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the selection, clip, and knife brushes. If you hold your smoothing brush icon, and then you drag your finger over to the masking icon, you're now under the selection brushes mode. If you go over to your brush palette, and you scroll down until you find select, what you're going to see is there's just a couple of selection brushes. This is the default one, select rect, so when you press and hold shift and then drag your finger over to the masking icon or control key. You can then drag a box like so. This in essence does almost the same as the mask rect brush. But what happens when you let go of your Apple Pencil is that it hides everything except for the area that was contained within that uh, rectangular shape. So if I do this, for example, and then I let go of the buttons, but keep my Apple Pencil engaged, I'm still engaging with that brush. I can press and hold the right key on our widget, and I can move this around. I can press and hold the bottom key, which would reverse that. And you can see now the color is red. So in essence, what it's gonna do is the opposite of what we've just saw. So it's gonna actually hide whatever's inside that box. So if I let go of my Apple Pencil, this is what's gonna happen. This is useful when you don't want to see certain sections of your mesh and you wanna sculpt on a specific area. So obviously if you wanna be a little more precise with this and you can switch this to the select lasso brush. So if I click that, if I do the same thing and engage the brush, you can see the icon's a little different. Now it's basically using a lasso to do that selection for me. If I want to reverse the selection for some reason, let's say I wanted to hide this area instead of uh, hiding everything else, I will engage the brush with our widget and then drag in the open document. And that's going to reverse. If I tap on the open document, it's going to bring everything back. So now that we talked about selection, let's talk about the clip brushes. The clip brushes are basically another form of selection brushes in a sense that you engage them in the same way by pressing the smooth and masking icons in our widget. If I click and drag the same way I did for the selection brushes, you can see the icon now is a little different. It's the clip curve brush. So a curve, when you engage the brush with the Apple Pencil, will give you this straight line. I can let go of my widget now and you can see it's not snapping anymore. And if I let go of my Apple Pencil, while this line is colliding in a sense with our model, it's going to flatten those polygons onto that surface. So obviously this is useful for something like a hard surface piece. But let's say I want to do an angle over here. Everything that's on the gradient side of our line is going to be clipped and flattened onto the line. As you can see, if I let go, everything has been flattened exactly to that line. So if I do the other way around, if I drag it from the bottom, and you can see that the gradient is now facing the actual face, if I let go, it's going to flatten that area. And then I could come over here and I do that, it's going to flatten that area. Obviously, then you start to get some issues like that, but it is a useful brush for hard surface paneling. If you want to do a bended curve, engage with the curve and then have a bend, this would work the same way anchor points work in other vector-based software. So I'm engaged with the brush and I let go of my smoothing and masking buttons. And if I tap my bottom key on my widget, it's gonna create sort of like an anchor point over there. I'm still engaged with my Apple Pencil. I never let go of my Apple Pencil until I'm ready to start clipping. And you can see it basically works like a, an anchor. And I can keep tapping this and making more points. And if I want a hard edge on that curve, I double tap. And now I have a hard edge. And this brush works in a similar fashion to, for example, the knife brush. The knife curve brush does the same thing, but it actually deletes and creates new geometry. So if I go over here and do this, instead of clipping, if I look at my polyframe, it deleted the previous faces and created new geometry. And then welded the faces together by triangulating the edges. So those were the selections, clipping, and knife brushes. These are obviously useful for multiple things while you're sculpting. You can still sculpt on top of this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.